What's up, YouTube? Mike with Mike's Manga Hunt here, back again, and I cannot believe January is already over. It's a month that kind of usually is slow, but I feel like this time went super, super quick. But you know what that means? Time to go through all my pickups for the last month. We've got a bit to get through and some cool stuff that I'm really excited to show off. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so this month was definitely the tale of like, kind of like two halves for me. Uh, the first half of this month, I was just buying a ton of manga. I was just buying series at a time, um, getting a bunch of, bunch of good deals, like getting stuff done and everything. But then like halfway through the month, I kind of just like stopped cold and I really didn't get much until like maybe a few days ago towards the end, the end of the month. Um, shelf space has definitely been kind of a concern lately. Um, as you can see, there's like, there's not much room left for anything, but um, I haven't let that deter me too much. I mean, a couple things, yeah, but like the too much it hasn't, deterred me because I kind of know that I'm going to be having more space eventually in the future. So if I got to put some things in storage for for now until like I get to that point, you know, that's what I got to do. With that being said, I got a lot of cool stuff that I'm really excited to share share with you. Um, a lot of very rewarding month in terms of a couple series, and we'll see that in a moment. So without further ado, I'm going to start talking and let's look at everything that we got. Right. So as usual, starting with all the new releases, we only got two, technically three, I think was a new release. Um, which has kind of like been like getting me a little sad because like a lot of the series I was collecting that come out new either like really shorten their like release schedules or I they're just like finished. So um, finding new things to collect that are still kind of like releasing has been tough, but I know eventually we'll find something we'll come up. But anyway, for new releases, we picked up uh, Dan and Dan Volume 2. Um, this is a new Shonen Jump series recommended to me by a friend. I did not read Volume 1, but um, the, 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 the basis, I guess, of like the story intrigued me. So I wanted to kind of just get a few volumes as I get them and then eventually kind of like just go through them and like read them a bit at a time. So I want to pick that up and kind of keep up with that series. So that's that. I also picked up um, Tatsuki Fujimoto's Before Chainsaw Man uh, 17 through 21. Uh, this is a bunch of short stories by the author of Chainsaw Man and Fire Punch now that he's become widely popular like all around now. Um, this is the second kind of like non, second like kind of like shorter release that, that, that he's had because uh, Look Back came out maybe in like September-ish. So it's really, really cool kind of seeing his work get kind of like published over here more in English um, officially. So I'm going to collect it all the time. I'm going to have like eventually I want to have like a little bit of like a Fujimoto like shelf where I have like Fire Punch, Chainsaw Man and like things like this, maybe a few figures. So um, anything he releases, I'm going to pick it up. He's one of my favorites. Um, just very, very good. Very, very good artist. Very good drawings, stories, everything. I can't. I love it. I love it a lot. So I had to get this. I really love these kind of releases. So not going to complain there for anything. All right, and then I also picked up this. I don't know that this came out. I think this came out before this month, but I'm calling it a new release anyway. I also picked up the Jujutsu Kaisen um, light novel. Now, I don't usually do light novels because it's just like, I don't know. They're kind of like side stories. I really don't have much to, uh, I really don't have much to go for it. But this was, this was really, really cheap when I picked it up. It was like $6 at like Walmart. So I said, you know what? For the JJK shelf, I had to pick it up. Big fan of JJK anyway. I've uh, been, re been reading kind of like weekly with it, so. Um, maybe one day I'll check this out, but for right now it's kind of more of just like a display piece for the collection. And, uh, you know, that's fine with me. So like I said, it was cheap, so why not pick it up? There's that. All right, next we got My Hero Academia Volume 15. This was a thrift store find. It was a whole dollar. Um, I was waiting on My Hero for that box set that came out, but I've heard so many bad things about it. Uh, the prince being the Italy prince, um, just like not good quality altogether. So uh, I canceled my order and didn't actually end up buying it. Um, so I've kind of been kind of like finding volumes, I guess, as I go. Um, and here's volume 15. I found this one at the thrift store. I'm not going to say no to that. Um, definitely a series that's not on my priorities, mainly because like I just don't have the space to accommodate it. But um, a series I would, I would like to have at one point. I know a lot of people really like it. I know it's widely popular. And uh, one day I'd like to go through it. Anime wise, I think I only read, I only watched up to season three. So uh, not a lot, but I hear it's just like popping off now. It's going to be like ending like soonish. So I think once it finally ends, I might go through the whole thing. But uh, we'll see that when we get there, but pick that up at the thrift store. Not much, not really much to say about that one. All right, we got volume one of Ice. This is a Shonen Jump series. It was previewed in the magazine a long time ago. Um, this came out a long time ago, actually, um, when I was a lot younger. And uh, it was a series that like always intrigued me because it was like these like really hyper realistic like front covers. I'm like, what is this? Like, it's not a shoujo. It's an SJ Advance like release, and uh, mainly because of the fact that it intrigued me. I was like, like now age, I was like, I, I, I gotta get that series and see what it's all about. Um, this is the third volume I have. It is out of print, I believe. So it is very hard to kind of come by them. Um, but I saw this on like Amazon really, really cheap from like a used seller. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna pick this up. 
So now I can have three quests. I have three volumes of this, and I think eventually I want I want to try to read this because I've heard I have heard good things. Um, it's just a very very interesting like weird series to kind of go for. But uh, there's Ice Volume One. Very happy to finally have that in my collection. All right, we got this. I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing this. I believe it's called I, be I believe it's called the Nijihara Holograph. This is a newer release that I did not realize um, by my favorite author, Inio Asano, the author of Good Night Pun Pun, Saonin, Downfall, Dead Dead Demons, Girl on the Shore, pretty much all of like the fantastic series that I really, really like. Um, like I said, he's always gonna be my favorite, like because his artwork is so beautiful, his storytelling is so good, his coming of age stories are just incredibly good. Um, and I really, really enjoyed all of them that I've read. So this is something I definitely want to be reading soon. Um, and when I do, you guys, you guys will definitely be hearing about it. I'll have all my thoughts on this series. Um, I love, it's like a, I, I like it because like this, it's a very nice hardcover release, but at the same time, it is a larger volume that does not fit on the shelf with the rest of the Inio Asano stuff. So it's like, it's like it's lone wolf, like on the side for right now. But um, hopefully in the future I can put it, I could have enough space to kind of put it like with it. But I'm very excited to finally read this. It is very pretty. I've, I've kind of flipped through some of the pages. The artwork looks great, just as usual. And it's just a very, very solid release altogether. So that's that one. Very excited to read this by my favorite author. All right, next we got a bit of series to get through actually. Let's do this one first. Um, I'm very happy actually that we can start showing these off again because I'm just very, this was out of print for so long or out of stock for so long that it's finally been reprinted. That's Yu Yu Hakusho. Picked up volume seven, picked up volume eight, picked up volume nine, and also picked up volume 11. So these are all the ones that I found kind of like in the wild and on Amazon recently. Um, I was collecting this at the beginning of like my journey and I had to stop because after volume like six, everything was like either out of stock or like it was just very, very hard to come by. And it took a very long time to get these reprinted. Um, and they're still slowly kind of coming back. So I've been kind of chipping away at it slowly. Um, Yu Yu Hakusho is a childhood series of mine, of course. It was in Shonen Jump Magazine. It was on Toonami. So um, I've never experienced the series full through, but I have watched parts of it like throughout my life. And I know like a bit of it. So um, a series I would love to collect. It's only 18 volumes. Very, very short. Just got to wait for all to get back in stock. And just, I think this is the best way to show that patience is definitely a virtue when it comes to manga collecting. Uh, because you could have, I could have went out and spent high money to get this series, but I waited almost two years. Um, I waited almost two years, and uh, now it's finally starting to come back, and I can get it kind of affordably. So that's great. Um, shout outs to a great series. It's finally coming back. I guess next would be Hunter Hunter uh, by the same author, but we'll get there eventually, <laughs> one series at a time, I guess. All right, we'll do this one next. This one I showed off in my um, Right Stuff haul, but it was a series I picked up the whole thing, and that was uh, Hori Mia in one shot. So let's just show them off again. We got three, we got four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I love how colorful these are, by the way. I'm gonna keep saying that before I get to the second half of it. And then we got 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, which I thought was the end of the series. I thought I bought the entire series. Lo and behold, there's still two volumes that need to come out. Uh, one just did. I got to go to the store and pick that up when I get a chance. And the other one comes out in like June. I already pre-ordered that one, so I'm set for I'm set for that one now. But uh, this is a romance series that a friend would not stop recommending to me, and I finally caved in and bought the first two volumes. I want to say it was I think it was like in December actually. And then I read the first one. I thought it was very enjoyable, so I said, you know, I'll I'll, I'll keep reading this. And then it went on sale on Rice stuff on this crazy big like bundle sale. So I just said, you know what? I've been a while since I've done this. I'm just gonna buy it all. And I and I bought the whole series. Um, I'm currently reading something right now. Um, you should guys will find out very soon. And then uh, once I finish that though, I think that I definitely want to like come back to this series because I know I've said it before, but like now that I've kind of finished a lot of the shonens that I've been reading, um, I kind of kind of jumped into like the romance genre. And uh, this is another one, another slice of life romance that I've heard very good things about and I cannot wait to try it. So that's Horamiya. I love the spines. I, I love the colorfulness and I love the front covers and stuff, just like the minimalist kind of thing. Um, so. Can't say enough about this, and I'm really, really excited to read this and happy to have it in the collection. All right, speaking of another little slice of life romance series, it's a series that if you've known me, you'll know that I love ever so dearly, and that's Nana. Picked up volume six, picked up seven, picked up eight, picked up 10, picked up 11, and if you thought we were done, we're not. <laughs> I picked up volume 13, 14, 16, 17, and volume 
18. And if you're keeping up with that, I only need one more volume left, and that's volume 11, or volume 12, I'm sorry, which is already on order. So hopefully it'll get here uh, very, very soon. Um, if you don't know by now, I love Nana to death. It was a series that I read the first volume and just very hard to get through, but watch the anime and it was just fell in love after that. The characters are great. The story is great. Um, the setting, everything about it is just so good. Um, I got so invested into the series. It's become one of my favorites easily. Um, Ayazara has become one of my favorite mangas next to Asano and Oda. Um, probably, that's probably the three right there, actually. Um, I cannot stress how much I love this series. It is so good. Definitely worth the read. Um, the only thing, again, is that it doesn't have an ending because uh, the author got very, very sick and it's not looking like there's going to be one, unfortunately. But um, still, the, the journey to get to where we get to is just really, really good. Very good storytelling, very good character development. Um, definitely one of the best series for development I've seen in a very, very long time. So that's Nana. Uh, I love it to death. And if you didn't think I loved it enough to get all the volumes, I also bought this... Uh, PlayStation 2 game for Nana. Um, I do not know what you do in it. Uh, it's all in Japanese, so I can't even play it if I wanted to, unless I kind of, you know, go through some measures. But I figured for the shelf, when I finally had like my Nana shelf, um, it was a cool display piece, and um, I'm very excited to have this too. It was very, very cheap. I saw it on eBay, and I was like, I have to get that. Why not? So uh, that's Nana the PS2 game. That's Nana altogether, like I said. Just one more volume, and I'm finished Nana, and I'm very, very happy when I get there, because that's a series I've really been wanting to collect for a long time. Highly recommend it. All right, we're coming to the end here. Uh, I'm gonna save this for the end. So why don't we go through this? Here's a new series that I've been that I kind of started. I saw the, uh, I finally like got wind of like the, what it was, and I got very very intrigued. So I had to give it a shot. That's Blood on the Tracks. So there's Volume One, Volume Two, Volume Three, and Volume Four. I got this in a bundle off of Mercari, a site I like to frequent a lot for manga. Um, I did not know anything about this series um, besides the author is an author of another series that um, I started kind of collecting called Happiness. And um, I read the synopsis of the first volume and I was like, whoa, like what is this? Essentially, it's like an overprotective mother um, who, where something happens on like a camping trip. Uh, I'm not getting into a lot of details. And uh, it's just kind of like the journey of like the boy, like in like going through life, like with this there's like mother like hovering over him kind of thing um that's not the whole story there's more to that um but i just kind of i'm just trying to be very very vague and i haven't read anything yet these came literally yesterday so um but this is a series i'm really really excited to start trying um the author's name is shuzo oshimi and um their work seems to be pretty something that i'd be really interested in so i'm gonna start with four volumes right now and then i'm gonna keep going and see kind of where it goes but this series i've heard nothing but good things about and i'm very excited to kind of finally start reading this definitely all right. And while we're on the topic of that author, um, also featured in the uh, Right Stuff sale that we opened up is Happiness, another series by that author. Uh, here's volumes two, three, and four. Another series I really want to start reading soon and kind of start collecting. Another kind of like underrated series I've heard a lot about of. And it's like more of like some more psychological. So is uh, Blood on the Tracks. And uh, I kind of want to kind of venture in that genre because I like Death Note. I know these aren't like Death Note. But um, I kind of want to see more like in that kind of like category, I guess, of manga. So if this is what I got to go to to get that, that's fine with me. And I'm very, very excited to finally start like going for a new author and uh, seeing what their works are all like. All right. And then last but not least is probably the biggest thing uh, for me, at least personally. And that is volume 69, 73, and 74 of Bleach. And with that, I have finally completed my Bleach collection, which means I have finally completed the collection of the big three. I now, know, I now own every volume of Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece, and that is probably the biggest accomplishment I've felt in a very long time. Probably my biggest one in terms of like manga collecting, because the way I got everything too, I'm just so proud of it. Besides One Piece, I guess. Naruto and Bleach, I exclusively got um, through like used book sites minus a few volumes on Bleach, but mostly just through used book sites and just like actually kind of like hunting them down like myself. Um, and it was very rewarding, very, very accomplishing, I want to say. And just overall, just made me, makes, makes me feel so good. Um, I'm very happy to finally own all of Bleach. Um, had a little help along the way for some people, but overall, it's done. I'm, I've been reading through it um, a lot lately, trying to get through the Thousand Year Blood War, and I've been enjoying my journey so far. You guys will hear more about that in the future. And again, this is just like one of my proudest moments in terms of like ever be like a collector in general. And I'm just really, very excited. I can always share that with you guys here. 
So that's everything right now. A lot of that, like I said, came at the beginning of the month um, and I kind of slowed down towards the rest of it. Um, February, I think will be a little bit different though. I already have some stuff coming and I kind of want to keep up on stuff. So I guess we'll see that when we get there. Um, more stuff, more announcements, I guess. Um, we have a Discord server again. Um, I'm always in there kind of just chatting up with people, um, sharing like my journey. You guys get some behind the scenes stuff in terms of like life and streams and stuff. Uh, so feel free to come join that. The link's always going to be below as well as the link to uh, my Twitch page. Again, I stream usually two to three times a week, usually Sundays and Wednesdays around like 6 p.m. Uh, we've been playing through One Piece Odyssey, having a great, great time. Um, they're always just very, very chill, kind of like chatty times. Um, so if you ever want to come in, come say hello. Um, I love to talk One Piece, I love to talk manga, anything with anybody. So that's that. Um, you guys will see me again very shortly. I have more videos in the works. I know it's kind of a slow month, but um, got a few things planned, working on a few things, and uh, I will see you all then uh, when those videos come out in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. Have a great day. And I'll see you all on the next occasion.